Let's get over to Chris Spears, who's in Colorado's Weather Center. You know, it's nice, Chris, to get this cool down. It's also helping with the fires that are currently burning. Yes. But it can create quite a mess. It can. And, you know, it's all about location, location, location. That If the shower pops at the wrong spot, which is right over the fire area, uh, we can see some issues develop pretty fast in uh, that part of the state. I want to show you the camera from Lookout Mountain to start off with. The downtown is right here, but we are dealing with just a little bit of a reduced air quality, not enough to trigger an alert alert at this point, but if you are extra sensitive to bad air, that may be why you're feeling a little bad today because we are uh, seeing a few issues. 60s and 70s now on the eastern plains near 80 in Akron. It is in the 60s for the most part in the high country with 70s in mountain valleys such as Salida, 70s to near 80 out on the western slope. Diane, northwest of Brush, is 78 degrees and higher up in Como, just shy of 10,000 feet. Our weather watcher, Kimberly, is 67. There's the big high pressure that produced all the record heat in the Pacific Northwest. It continues to shift into Canada. It is no longer influencing Colorado's weather. We are now uh, being controlled by this ridge of high pressure over Texas and this upper level low sitting over Utah. And water vapor is a really helpful tool when looking for atmospheric features. The tr the high pressure over Texas is pumping in some subtropical moisture into the eastern part of the state. That low over Utah is pumping in some moisture into the western part of the state. So we have two different sources of moisture streaming into Colorado. And the result, now that we have daytime heating, is showers and thunderstorms starting to pop up on the plains and in the higher elevations. Right now in Denver, it's mostly sunny, not a lot happening, but a few showers trying to get going in the foothills, uh, watching Glenwood Canyon. You've had a few sprinkles in the vicinity this morning but so far so good. Here's the future cast. We'll continue to see showers and thunderstorms develop. Uh, most coverage over the higher elevations, but then late afternoon into the evening, some of that will try and come off of the higher terrain and into the urban corridor, much like we saw yesterday around the rush hour. Any storm has the fair potential to produce locally heavy rain, so that is why we watch the burn scars so closely. And a little bit of this activity may linger into the mid to late evening hours. We should go up a few more degrees for most locations, unless you are socked in with cloud cover. 70s, pretty common in the high country mid 80s out on the western slope and we'll see a mixture of upper 70s and low to mid 80s on the eastern plains of Colorado. Here is Denver's five day forecast. So uh, chance of storms today. The storm chances actually go up tomorrow into Friday. Temperatures will hold pretty steady and then Kelly just in time <laughs> for that 4th of July weekend and all the great events going on, including the Renaissance Festival. We'll warm it up just a skosh more and dry it out just a little bit for Saturday and Sunday. I think that that's what you call like a Goldilocks forecast. Not too hot, not too cold. Just, just right. right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it.